Maps I find wild. Average money spent on weddings in the US. Okay, so highest is California, $77,000, which is obviously mental. But what surprises me is just the low amounts are still ridiculous sums of money. Cheapest in the entire US is Wyoming at $9,000. $9,000 in one day for one event. You just assume the average American wouldn't be able to afford that. But then I suppose maybe the rich Americans are the ones that are getting married because they can afford to. Either way, 77k in California, 46k in New York, absolutely. Absolutely crazy. States and territories in which dinosaur species have been discovered. Alright, Tyrannosaurus rex fossils have been found kind of in a line along the middle, which is really interesting. Very similar to Triceratops, and then moving again, more north for the Pachyrhinosaurus. I was about to say maybe the Pachyrhinosaurus preferred it in colder climates, but I guess it was that long ago that the world was a different temperature and the continents were in totally different areas, so it doesn't really make sense. It is interesting that overall they're all in a similar area. They all seem to be in Alberta, Canada and Montana, US. Where are my fossils from? Alright, my pterodactyl tooth is from Morocco and my epic 52 million year old fish fossil is from Wyoming, which is this square here, so that follows a similar fossil pattern to these. Sex ratio! Okay, this is percentage of males and females in every single country. Now, it's basically 50-50 everywhere because the highest female to male ratio in the world is just 54% in the then we've also got 53 in Latvia and Lithuania. But then the highest male ratio is Qatar at 75%, which is crazily high. And then countries from a similar area are second and third. I believe women in Qatar have slightly less rights than men. So presumably that's had some kind of impact on the numbers. I saw a map on here with legal drinking ages around the world and realized India is one of two countries with a mixed system. Here it is broken down by state. Okay, so youngest drinking age in India is 18. And that seems to be more common over on the west of the country. Country, but then it is completely illegal in the westernmost state of Gujarat. It's been banned since 1960, which is crazy. Most of the country follows 21, like the US, but Maharashtra even breaks it down based on the alcohol. So it's 21 if it's beer, and then it's 25 for things like spirits. That's interesting. Population change in Europe and the Arab world. I always start at UK because that's where I am. 16% since 1990, which isn't a crazy population change. Iceland's gone up 52%. That's very high. Northern African countries have gone up a lot. Algeria, there's 75%. What's that? 151% difference. Which country is that? Is that uh, Syria? No, it's Iraq. That is a crazy increase. You can see that a lot of Eastern Europe, it's actually gone down quite a bit. And then Central Europe, with exceptions, has roughly stayed the same. Map showing the closest country to where you live in Canada. Most of Canada, obviously, is closest to the United States at the south. Because of Greenland, a lot of the northern tip is close to Denmark. But then this teeny portion is closest to France. Is there a French territory? in Canada? I know a lot of people speak French in Canada. Yes, there is. That makes sense. Saint-Pierre and Miquelon. Attitudes of Europeans towards LGBT neighbours. What percentage of people would not want to live next door to an LGBT person? That is crazy. So obviously it should be zero everywhere, but you can see that it is worse over in Eastern Europe, where they're just a little bit behind on that kind of thing, I guess. Iceland are the most chill at just 2% of the population. Oh, here we go. Now we've got maps showing the closest country to where you live if you're in the USA. So Obviously, mostly Canada, then Mexico. But because of the beautiful Caribbean, Bahamas manages to take over a big chunk, despite it being a relatively small island group. And then Cuba taking a little teeny tiny slice of the pie as well. Half of Alaska is obviously close to Russia, and Hawaii is closest to Kiribati. Percentage of population, 25 to 64 year olds in Europe that can't speak any foreign language. Highest is the United Kingdom, which makes sense because a lot of other countries know English as a second language. But it's interesting seeing Romania is really close behind us there, because you don't think of many countries outside of Romania knowing Romanian. Shout out to Sweden where 96.6% .6 of the population can speak a language outside of Swedish. It's always nice and accommodating to know more than one language. Oh, we're back again. Countries closest to you in Russia. This one is a lot more complicated with it being such a lengthy country. It's quite interesting seeing Norway spreading all the way along here and that's obviously because this is Mercator projection map. But in reality at the top of the planet, Russia's curving around rather than stretching this way. Finland takes up a good chunk. Kazakhstan pretty massive, Mongolia, China, United States, and then over towards Europe, lots of little places.
this is getting a little piece of the pie. How to say water in European languages. In England, it's water. In Germany, it's Wasser. In France, it's Ur. In Spain, it's Agua. In Portugal, it's Igua. In Italy, it's Aquia. In Poland, it's Woda. Woda. Wasser. Woda. Woda. Vis. Apa. Su. Nero. Apa. Woda. Vada. Woda. Woda. Vanduo. Odans. Vasi. Vesi. Vatten. And finally, in Ireland, it's Oise or Dava. Population density map of Germany. Quite an even spread. Obviously, each of these spikes is the major cities like Hamburg and Berlin and Munich and stuff. But when you compare this to somewhere like France, they basically got everyone in Paris and then it's kind of quite light everywhere else. But Deutschland had thought about a bit more. Monarchies in Europe, 1914, by origin of their ruling royal families. That's very interesting. I don't know much about this, but most of Europe's royal family descended from Germany? Why is that? Please let me know in the comments. That's really interesting. Global extent of Viking exploration. Do you know what? They travelled a lot further than I thought. And Hans said Hans. Obviously knew about them making it to UK and Ireland and France and even Iceland, but I didn't have any clue that they made it to the Americas. In the year 1000, they were in modern day Canada. It says they sailed down the east coast of the US, but it looks like they didn't actually land anywhere. That's crazy. All the way back in the 8th and 11th century. This was a map from 1581 and it was called the actual and true form of the earth and the sea. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's not great. <laughs> There's also giant monster fish floating about. Did they think they were real? Are they to scale? There's definitely a lot missing on each side. Some things are a bit disproportionate. Is this the Caspian Sea? Yeah, it says Casp Summing, so they didn't quite nail that, but everything else looks okay. World Heritage Sites by Country. Okay, so World Heritage Site is something really historically and culturally significant, like Machu Picchu or something. So there's most of them in Italy with things like the Colosseum, I guess. Germany, number two at 48, okay. And France is number three at 42. I guess there's a lot of Castles kicking about. Oh, there's also natural sites as well as cultural ones. So China, Australia and USA, and then Russia are the top four. When you see pictures of China's landscape, it looks almost not real. It's incredible. Like, look at that. That is insane. North American Moose Territory Map. I find this map a bit confusing because there's not just like direct numbers, but I will assume that means there's a healthy splattering of moose. Roman Empire in 1330 AD. Okay, so this is just like a small area of Greece at this point. At one point, Roman Empire had taken over like most of Europe but it's looking quite shriveled at this point. None of the countries that had borders with Poland pre-1990 exist today. That's kind of crazy considering 1990 was not that long ago. The Czechoslovakia has obviously become the Czech Republic and Slovakia. East Germany is now just Germany. And the USSR controlled all of this area, but it's now bordered by Russia, Lithuania, Belarus, and Ukraine. Monarchies in Europe. Back in 1914, there was a lot of monarchies, and I heard most of them descended from Germany. Whereas in 2023, there are very few few left. Surely give it, what, a hundred years and the monarchy has got to be gone in the UK. There's less and less people that are into them at this point. Max daily temperatures of US in hottest month ever. So apparently this was July of this year, which is really encouraging to know. And as we can see, it is getting very, very hot. The max was 120 Fahrenheit, which is 48 degrees Celsius. Oh. McDonald's locations in Europe. That is a lot of McDonald's. I didn't realise how big McDonald's was in Germany. Median mobile internet speed. Okay, this is interesting. So in the UK, the average speed is 48. I think the best I can get in my area is like 30. So it's depressing to see I'm below the national average despite having 4 million subscribers. But it of course could be a lot worse. Mexico and Ecuador around 20. Same with Senegal. Same with a lot of Latin America and Africa. The highest is UAE at 138, which I guess I would expect. But second is Norway, which I would not have said. The slowest is Turkmenistan, followed by Afghanistan, Venezuela. That's around 3 three to five, which is of course quite depressing. I could certainly have it much worse. Map of the years homosexuality was legalized in European countries. So it's insane to say that certain countries not too far away, it's still completely illegal, which is mental. But we've got to give a shout out to France who were literally like a hundred years minimum ahead of everybody else. Just do what you want in France, have fun with it. On that wholesome note, we're going to end off the video. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you want to see next. Subscribe if you've not already, and I'll see you later.